will be studying about the uh, curriculum development. Curriculum development has been analyzed uh, by three based on three forms. First is the philosophical based curriculum. Uh, the foundation of every curriculum, there is uh, the education philosophy of people directly involved in the process of curriculum development. Philosophy is the end and education is the means to achieve that. Philosophy determines the goal of the life and education tries to achieve that goal. The contents of the curriculum change to suit the prevalent uh, ideologies and social ways of thinking. So the curriculum is positively correlated with the needs and requirements of society. Philosophy provides curriculum specialists with a framework of broad issues and tasks. In general, what experiences and activities to stress in schools and classroom. Now the sociological based curriculum. Society influence the school curriculum. Every society, community or nation has an essential social obligation to arrange the education of children. Sociological consideration influence curriculum development in following distinct way. It provides a way of carrying out change in the behavior of the students as per the need and de demands of the society or nation. To make education as an instrument of social changes and progress, to preserve the culture and transmit it to young children. To prepare the learner for the future society, the uh, sociological consideration provide necessary guideline for developing a useful curriculum for the betterment and the progress of society. Now the third point is psychological based curriculum. Education is for the child. The child is the center of the educational process. Through education efforts, though education efforts are made for bringing desirable changes in the behavior of the learner, psychology as a science of behavior is linked with the pro pro process of uh, imparting education. It helps curriculum developers in deciding what current and learning experience can be included in this curriculum. It provides a uh, base for curriculum development in such a way that a curriculum could be developed according to the children in the particular grade and their needs. The psychology of individual differences among children influence the plan and development of the curriculum. So the curriculum should have enough variety and elasticity to allow individual differences, needs, and interests. So we can conclude that curriculum development is guided by the ideas put forward by psychologists. That is, uh, we can take uh, Piaget or uh, Erickson, Brunner, etc. From time to time, hence, curriculum development has sufficient psychological based Thank you.